Well, continuing, continuing coverage now of the movie massacre in North America. As we reported, the death toll stands at 12 this morning, but many more remain in hospital. 24-year-old James Holmes opened fire during the midnight session of the new Batman movie in the Colorado town of Aurora on the outskirts of Denver. And, of course, that's where we find our US Bureau Chief Mike Amor this morning. Sam and Andrew, I have... 17-year-old Tanner Kuhn, who was inside the movie theatre when the shooting began. And Tanner, I can only imagine what you're going through. How difficult was it to be inside that movie theatre? It was uh, very difficult. I mean, it was just unreal to be experiencing that. You know, you just feel like you're in a dream because it just doesn't feel like it could be happening to you. Describe what happened for me. Well, at first I saw a canister that was thrown across the, uh, uh, the audience and it trailed like a, a smoke, and I thought it was just some prank and uh, then I saw a flash and a loud, uh, loud bang and I thought it was just a firework. Um, then I heard three more shots and I knew that was it had to be gunfire and so I told me and my friends we need to get down on the floor and so we uh, got down on the ground and just hoped for the best. We um, heard, I mean I heard about another 20 to 30 shots go off um, and there was a pause. I looked up during that pause and um, saw him, a silhouette of him as I was more towards the top um, I was about the fourth row from the top, and um, then he started firing again. I went back down um, and ducked my head, and you know, just calming down my friend. He's uh, one of the kids who went with me. He's 12 years old. He was freaking out the whole time. I mean, just really distraught and distressed. And so uh, after that, the the bullets stopped. Um, some people started running towards the top exit. Um, so I told my friends we need to get going. I went to the uh, row behind me, tri uh, slipped in some blood, fell on a lady. I told her we need to get up. You need to get out of here. She didn't answer. No movement. I mean, so I presume she was dead. So I moved on and uh, went to the exit and waited for my friends and then we got out of that theater. How lucky are you to have survived? Well, I, that lady that I uh, uh, tripped on was directly over me, um, so that bullet went directly over me. I mean, I, it's amazing that I'm still here. As a 17-year-old, how do you come to terms with this? You know, I still, I still can't believe it's, it, it happened. You know, I'm still coming to terms with it. I'm still wrapping my mind around it. It just doesn't seem like it happened. Does it make sense that you were lucky enough to walk out of the theatre and yet so many others were not? You know, it, it, it really doesn't. I mean, so many people were injured, and it's like bullets were flying all around me. One of my friends heard one go straight past his ear. He heard the whiz of the bullet, and it's just crazy. It's like, how did we go untouched? Well, you're lucky to be with us. Thanks very much for your time. So, so many young people inside that theatre and, of course, so many people who didn't make it out, guys. Thank you, Mike. It's awful story. In Colorado there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, of course we will be shocked and appalled every time this happens, but it's just a pathetic regularity with which we discuss this, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and the terror that these people must have, you, you know, as they're saying, because I saw the Batman movie, there is lots of shooting, and you, they thought it was part of the, mm. of the you know, yeah. entertainment. I mean, it's just so, or well, they must have been so terrified. It is Indeed. so awful.